All right, so we are starting our official instructions for our unit exam. Again, this is going to count as 30% of your unit exam grade. What is the test grade? I will be inputting this. It might take a little bit of, uh, a little while to grade, but um, yeah, it is going to count for a lot of your grade book grade. All right, so first off, we're going to look at uh, the project name. The project name is eCard. I'll give you the instructions right now, but the eCard involves a development process. I'm not going to focus too much on this development process, but the development process is just talking about how you develop an application, right? So first is you have an idea. We did talk about this last time. You have an idea and then you start a design, all right? This is what I'm going to be more focused on because I am going to help you with the coding, all right? So if you have any questions over, sir, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I'm confused on this part. Don't worry about it. I will help you with that. I'm more concerned on that you hit all the bullet points that I'm going to give you right now and also that you do full complete answering of the questions because there is a open-ended portion to this part of the exam all right as far as the coding goes no I understand y'all still need more practice on certain things there's a lot of blocks y'all don't know yet and that's fine I will go ahead and help you with that all right I'll just be back here you can come up here one-on-one -on -one. I'll tell you which blocks to use or ideas on how you can do certain things on whatever you want to do all right so uh the first thing is designing you want to go ahead and put on a piece of paper exactly what it is you want to do and after you design or have an idea of what you're going to do you can go ahead and start implementing it right that means that you can go ahead and start building it and start creating the code start making everything putting it together looking for pictures looking for all the stuff that you need to uh, have to make your thing finally come to what you want at the end, you're going to go ahead and test it. Test it. Testing it just means that you're running it to make sure that there are no bugs, that everything works correctly. Maybe have a friend look at it, see what they think about it. And then just go back and either redesign, implement again, test again, until finally you're out of that loop and you're able to uh, have your final product. Right? <clears throat> All right, so that's just something to go ahead and look at. Finally, you are going to have your requirements. Anyways, for the e card, you have a. Um, the project instructions right here, I'm going to go ahead and look at them. And this is one thing that I'm really, really going to focus on because it's super important that you get every single thing on here done. And I'm going to give you an exemplar right now or show you an exemplar that shows all of these things checked off. All right. Number one, is, well, first, the instructions are to create an e-card that meets all of the following specifications. It must meet all of the following specifications. All right. If it does not meet one thing, I will go ahead and just count it wrong and you lose the points for that section. Everybody got that? Yes. yes. All right. So number one, has a message for the viewers, such as Happy New Year, Happy Birthday, or Get Well Soon. Whatever it is you want to do, it's a <laughs> electronic, um, like, what, what, do you, what would you call it? Like an event card? Uh, like, yeah, is that, is that it? Just a e card, I guess? Right? For any type of occasion. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is you want to make it, that's good. Right? It must have a theme such as a holiday, sports, TV show, a photo, original art, etc. Any type of theme, all right? It must have a stage and sprite costumes. So you must have a stage and sprite costumes. You can find those online. I'm going to give you some links right now to have uh, get those easily so that, that way you're not um, wasting your time looking for a bunch of them. Works properly. It's not buggy. What does buggy mean? Good, that it doesn't have glitches, that it works properly. Number five, includes a custom block. This can be either a start over block that resets the e-card to the beginning, right? So again, your own block. It must have your own block. Uh, another custom block containing at least three blocks. This could move a sprite, change the background, etc. All right, so now you're just putting blocks inside of blocks. I want to focus more on... Well, that either has either of those, right? I'm going to focus more on that you just have a block that you created. No need for parameters, no need for any of that, just the block that you created, right? Uh, number six, uses, uses a repeat until or a for loop, all right? Uh, number seven, lets the user interact by clicking a sprite, pressing a key, or moving the mouse. That means that the user controls what ends up happening. And number eight includes one additional feature. For example, you can choose sounds or music um, using the play block and or sounds tab or the random block. 
try out the following development process. Design, five minutes. Implement, 35 minutes. Test, 10 minutes. I'm going to probably give you two class periods to get this done because I know a lot of y'all are going to have questions. I really want quality out of these. I want to show Mr. Garza these so that, that way you can, um, you can have something to show and then we can put them up and show them, right? All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now the example that I created, and then we're going to check to see if it, if it hits all of the points. All right, so this is the card that I went ahead and made. I'm going to click restart here. And notice, do I have a theme? Yes, it's a Halloween theme, right? It also has a some kind of greeting that says, for example, this one says, Happy Halloween. I could have probably moved that more towards the left to make it look nicer, but whatever. I have instructions here that says, press start for a game. So I just added a little game to the e-cart, right? These are all sprites. All these words are sprites. I can show you right now how to put, how to make words into sprites in just a bit. I went ahead and have two buttons here, one that says restart, one that says start. I press start and I see that there is a, and there I caught it. Now it repeats for a little bit. I actually should have stopped. So that tells me that there is a small bug in there somewhere. Let me lower it. Yes, that, t that does tell me that there is a bug in there somewhere where I just need to make the sound stop whenever the um, whenever the mouse touches the pumpkin, right? So, um, hey, what did I use? Did I use a repeat until loop? I chose a repeat until loop, and that was from the previous projects, right? The one where I repeat until the mouse touches the sprite or the pumpkin, right? I went ahead and let's see if we can look at the other uh, at the other requirements. So, do I have a message? Yes, I have a message. Mine was Happy Halloween, or yes, I think it was Happy Halloween. The theme was Halloween. I have a stage, and I did have sprite costumes. I it works properly, not buggy. Oof, that one I need to work on because guess what? The sound kept going for too long. Right? Includes a custom block. The custom block that I created was the one where I restart. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna show the code in the in the in the video, but I did create the restart function into a block. Also, I included the start over hey i got it straight from the from the instructions i don't have to think about it too much i used a repeat until loop i didn't use a for loop i used a repeat until because i was already thinking about the previous projects that we made and how we already used the repeat until loop in one of the games so i just decided to implement that uh let's the user interact yes so i have to go ahead and kind of chase the pumpkin around and um and click restart right Includes an additional feature. For example, you can choose sounds or music. That's what I chose because, that, again, that's something that we did in the previous projects. And that was it, right? Now I just need to go back and make sure that that sound bug is uh, taken off, right? We are going to do an open-ended section for this. I'm not going to give the instructions today. Today I just want you to work on what the requirements are. I want you to go ahead and look for what it is you're going to do. I'm going to put in the assignments two links, all right? And one of the links is going to be this effect result uh, picture to people, right? Oh. Where I go back and I write a message, maybe like start. Here I put catch me if you can, hee hee. Choose your size, right? Uh, text color. I can look at the different fonts. I know they're not all available, but let's say I want this one. It'll go ahead and generate. And I literally, all I have to do is grab it and take it over to my snap where I can drop it in there somewhere in the coding. I'm not gonna drop it because I don't wanna mess this up, but I drop it in the script and it'll go ahead and uh, put it in there as a sprite. Everybody good? Also, I use this background. I don't know if anybody's ever used this site. Remove BG, oh, yeah. right? You can go and put any picture there. Let's say I want a dog. I got this dog. I really like the dog. Put it there, and it should remove the background. There you go. 
Now I can just take this. Oh no, this one I actually have to download. And then from my download, put it in my sprite area. Questions? No? All right. So that's it for today. I am going to have that be due in two days so that that way we can work on the open-ended Thursday and Friday. All right. And that is it.